thought you'd ever pay me that twenty dollars. <laughs> I sure never did. Twenty dollars, that, that's a right handsome sum to get just for telling you some feller passed through here. <laughs> Must have been mighty important to you. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Look, mister, you can have back your twenty dollars. You ain't gonna shoot. Look, mister, I ain't done nothing to you. What you want to do, leave him alive so he could blab his mouth about us? He didn't know who we are. He told us what we wanted to know for twenty dollars. You could have let him spend it. You telling me, Roy? No, no, I ain't telling you nothing. Anybody else? We agreed. Until we find out about Will Saber, you're running things. We'll stick to it. Smart guys, all of you. For twenty dollars, he tells us which way Will Saber went. Well, he could tell somebody about us for twenty more. Will Saber thinks he's the last of the fast guns. We know different, you and me. Ashes to ashes, friend. Saber's headed for the big Indian, and that's where we're going. Tracks. Could be Will. you doing all that singing? The only church song I know. Buried my pop. That's a fitting song. Yeah, that should do fine. Pop be mighty proud of you. You think he knows? Folks who know better than me say things never die. Everything goes on living. Just, just in a different way, that's all. I think he knows. That's good. That's a pretty big job for a boy. About a day before yesterday. Going pretty deep, ain't you? 
buzzards or Indians are going to get him. Not if I can help him. Can I give you a hand? Thanks. Pop is kind of heavy. I reckon that grave is deep enough. Hitch up the team and back the wagon up here. Not around here. Gonna be shooting? That depends. Get down to the bottom of that grave. We'll have to borrow it from your dad for a minute. in the wagon, the live one's here in the grave. We've been looking for you, Saber. I figured you might be. You were gonna meet us in Carlisle. You weren't there. That should tell you where I stand. Everybody keep your hands where I could see them. The boys say they're not gonna let you walk out, Saber. You've been heading up the gang a long time, Will. You know too much about us. Will, Saber. The law won't find out anything from me. The boys say you're either with us or you're dead, Saber. Think it over, Saber. You've got 30 days. We'll find you wherever you are. You came here for my answer and you got it. And the answer is still the same. Now ride. Come on, move. <laughs> Saber. You and those men robbed a bank at Carpet Hill. In the stage from Collins City. And you robbed... Are your dad or aren't we? Too bad you had to get sick, Donovan. Your son said you were a fine man. I believe him. Such being the case, fine treatment wherever you are right now. I'll try to see to it that your son's taken care of. That's the way he wants it. If not, I'll be going on my way. So long, Donovan. Amen. Is he leaving? Unless there's something else I could do. Thanks for helping me. You're welcome, boy. Maybe there's somebody else we could bury right here first. Huh? We'll save her. If we if we buried him, that would be the end of him, wouldn't it? How do you like the name Dan Tomlinson? Is that what you're going to call yourself? As good as any. What are you going to do with me? You got something to say about that boy? How'd you like to see Durango? All right. I'd be beholden to you, Mr. Tomlins. You can call me Dan, boy. Call me Robbie. Fine. Hey! I'll do the talking, Robbie. Okay. Fetch my horse in time to the wagon. Howdy. We're Texas Rangers. Did you come over the big Indian into Texas? A few days ago. What can I do for you? Found a dead man on the other side of the ridge. Shot through the back of the head. Did you see anybody? No. We've been here since yesterday, burying my brother-in-law. Told him he shouldn't make the trip. 
Been a sick man for quite a while. Well, you keep a lookout. Word's going around that Will Saber and his gang are moving out of Kansas down into Texas. Could be they're the ones that killed that man. Tracks of five or six horses around the body. Think we'll be in any trouble? Nah. Will Saber goes in for big stakes. You wouldn't interest him. All we want is to be let alone. We're going over into Durango and buy some land. Well, you see anything, when you get there, you tell the sheriff. I sure will. Sorry about your brother-in-law. Thanks, Ranger. You heard what the Ranger said? They killed a man. If you wasn't lying to me about becoming somebody else, you could have told the Rangers which way they went. The Rangers would have caught them. But you're going back with them. You did lie to me. I didn't lie to you, Robbie. And I didn't lie to Dunstan. I told him the law wouldn't get any information from me. That was my word. You don't want me to go back on my word, do you? But you heard what the Rangers said. They killed somebody. Maybe lots of people. Maybe you did, too. Yeah, Robbie, I've killed men, but I never killed a man who didn't try to kill me first. You're old enough to understand the difference? You're scared of me, aren't you, boy? Yes. I've got a lot more reason to be scared of you. You know my real name. All you have to do is just mention it to someone. Where would that leave me, huh? Guess there's nothing to do but trust each other. I wish my father was here. So do I, boy. That'd make it a lot easier on both of us. Come on, let's get going. Dustin was waiting for him. An ambush? You let him do it? You gonna let him kill those rangers? You stay here. Dunstan, we still want Will with us if he'll come. All right, we'll let him live. But you'll probably be the first one that he kills. We got two of them anyway. Come on, we'll pull it out! Captain? No. Two of my men are down. I gotta see how bad they're hurt. Let me give you a hand. You better get with that boy. They might double back. That's a Will Saber gang. Are you sure? Recognize one of them. A fellow by the name of Dunstan. Used to be a gun hawk around Dodge City. Get them all sooner or later. The hunt won't stop. I hope you do. A lot of people feel a lot better. I get into Durango, I'll look you up. I'll be on the lookout for you too, Captain. Got 
some business in that bank, Robbie. Won't be long. You're not going into a bank. Dan Tomlinson and banks have a lot of respect for each other nowadays, Robbie. Tie off the team. There you are, Sheriff. Complete schedule of all future shipments to San Antonio. Fine, Ben. Yeah, this will give me a chance to have men ready for you. Mr. Cowell? I'm Cowell, yes. I'm Tomlinson, Dan Tomlinson. I'd like to open an account here. Of course. Pleasure, Mr. Tomlinson. This is Sheriff Howard. Pleased to meet you. Glad to know you, sir. You're going to stay a while in Durango, I take it. I'm not sure yet. Dan Tomlinson, you said? Well, the account will be in someone else's name. I want to deposit $1,600 in the name of a young boy. Your son? No, no, I'm just sort of his guardian. Father died just after we crossed over Big Indian Divide. Mother passed away quite some time ago. Do you know anybody here in town? Well, I'm not sure of that either. Well, I uh, suppose you'll want to open a safety account so nobody can touch the money except the boy, according to your instructions. Yeah, I guess that would be best. Uh, I'm going to make someone else the guardian for the boy. What name? Well, uh, that's the third thing I'm not sure of. But I'd like to have you hang on to this money anyway. I'll be back tomorrow and give you the name. Well, where will you be staying, sir? Over at the hotel. I see. Well, if you'll just fill out this form, Mr. Tomlinson. appreciate free rent and grub in jail. I'm sorry this had to happen your first day in town. Say, you always wear a two-gun belt, the kind you tie down? The guns were put away, Sheriff. They're staying put. Those guns weren't worth it. You could have gotten yourself hurt. I didn't know you finished getting the initials off of them. Yeah, the Sheriff knows there's something on there. I want it off. Maybe we shouldn't stay here. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I just say it's bank business. You gotta get some papers signed for Mr. Cowell. Next time, why don't you go busted in some other town? Joe, I want you to send a letter to Ranger headquarters in San Antonio. This will be a description of a man named Dan Tomlinson. Find out what they have that fits the description. Something up? I don't want to wait till there is. This fellow's about six foot three, weighs around 185, dark hair, blue eyes. That's the way she said it would be. Oh. That's the lazy Jay's spread. Like it? Sure do. Place for him. Yeah, it'd be a good place for a boy to grow up.
Let me straighten you out a bit, Robbie. Hey, I lost a button. I guess that's all right. Back in your shirt, Jim. Like you see, prospering. Who's this? Oh, this is Robbie Donovan. Hello, Robbie. Howdy, ma'am. Yeah, that's fine. Wait for me outside, will you, Robbie? Him up on the trail. His, his father just died. I, I helped him bury him. Couldn't leave the kid out there all by himself. Just why did you come here, Will? To see you, Judy. No, I don't believe that. Look, I told you I'd be back one of these days. It's been over two years, Will. Not that I don't know what you've been doing. You make very good news. I've quit. Dunstan has taken over. Is that the truth? I wanted to do it for a long time, Judy. It wasn't easy making that break. Boys want me back. But now they might be out there looking for me. Then it's not a break. Not really. I promise. I promise I'll make it stick this time, Judy. There's some coffee on the stove. Judy. I'll get the coffee. You've done all right. Well, cattle prices are up. Better profits in St. Louis? Well, this is living. Right in a gambling joint, isn't it? I've proved that to myself. What were you trying to prove? That an educated man can be just as tough and ruthless as anybody else in the West? And what now? You staying here? That's something we'll have to talk about. Will, if you're leveling with me about quitting the gang, I'll marry you. Judy, I, I told you they could find me here. So? Look, they gave me 30 days. If I don't go back with them, well, they'll try to kill me. Then nothing's changed. Judy, I won't do that to you. That's right, nothing has changed. Not until I know whether or not I'm going to live. We you can't fight them all, they will kill you. All I'm asking you to do is just wait. Just wait and see. If they do come back here, I may have to move fast. Oh, Will, you'll always have to move fast. Judy. Judy, would you take in the boy? Take in a kid? A stranger you picked up on the trail. Oh, Will, you have no right to ask me that. Well, that may be, Judy, but the boy needs a home. I, I can't give it to him. That's the only reason you came here, isn't it? Judy. No, it isn't. Look, you're sore at me, not the kid. Take a couple days and think about it. I'll take Robbie into the town and he stay at the hotel with me. No deal, Will. I want to forget about you. And I can't with that boy around here. 24 hours a day, he'll be here to remind me.
Mister. And it's ours. Bobby! Bobby! Some more cold water will keep that bump down. I won't stay here with her. Well, now, just what did she ever do to you? I heard what she said to you before. Well, maybe you didn't understand her reasons. But that's okay. Boy, oh, I've got no hold on you. You can do whatever you like. Well, go into town and talk to the sheriff. Maybe he can find a place for you to stay. But he wouldn't be much good around the ranch anyway, not the way he rides a horse. That horse stumbled when he jumped that fence. Excuses. You almost broke your neck and the horses. I can ride as good as anybody. You ask Dad. Well, he'd stick up for you no matter what. Why doesn't he want me to stay with him? Robbie, listen. Where would you stay? In the back of the wagon? Well. Of course, you'd have to go to school in Durango. Besides, who said he wouldn't be around? You gonna stay? Well, I, I haven't quite made up my mind yet. I... Did you ever tell him you'd like him to stay? Well, he always said I could do what I wanted. I guess he's got a right, too. Oh, what a couple of stubborn jackasses. Well, I guess we could teach him how to ride. I told you, that horse stumbled. Quiet, boy, I have eyes. I'll tell you what. We'll put him on trial around here and see if he can carry his own weight. You mean you're going to let me work on the ranch? Uh-huh. I can have a regular job? Well, of course. What do you think this place is? A home for old women? Well, I could recommend him for work. He's not afraid to work. Okay, Robbie, you got yourself a man-sized job. After school. Yippee! I'll be the best hand you ever had. <laughs> How do you feel now? Fine. I have a hard head. In that case, go water down your horses. My man, he gets sick. Now, see if you can get yourself cleaned up by then. Yes, ma'am! Well, now, don't go getting weak need with thanks. <laughs> Judy, you, you handled them just right. Well, I've known how to handle men ever since St. Louis. All except one. You know, I'm going to stay around here now. I'm going to town and try to get myself a job there. Well, why not right here? No. No, I've, I've got to be where the sheriff and everybody else looks at me as just another man. I have to get used to living with people again, too. Well, now, do you think that you could give me a kiss that would make up for those two years? Go ahead. Morning, Ben. Morning, Sheriff. Mr. Tomlinson. Morning, Mr. Cowell. Come to give me that name you told me about yesterday? Yeah, it's Judy Ollivant. Girl who owns the Lazy J. That's right. You moving on, Mr. Tomlinson? Well, not if I can get a job in town. He talked to me about a job, and I thought you might be interested, Ben. He knows figures. Ever done any banking, sir? Well, not exactly your kind. No? What then? Investment? Corporation? Marine? I was a partner in a gambling house in St. Louis. <laughs> Kept my own books. We usually came out pretty well. You've been trying to hire somebody for three months, Ben. Gambling house was on the level, Mr. Cowell. Well, I was expecting a different kind of reference. 
But I've taken chances before. Job's yours, Mr. Tomlinson. Thanks, Mr. Cow. I'll show you around. Uh, we got a little business to transact first. He'll be back in a couple of minutes. Come in. Have a chair. There's something I thought you ought to know before you start working at the bank. I sent a description of you to Ranger headquarters in San Antonio. What for? Those guns of yours. We haven't had a gunfighter in Durango for three, oh, I guess it's four years. We don't have much patience here with gun hawks. You're guessing, Sheriff. I wasn't even wearing the guns. Those could have been notches you scraped off the handles. Yeah, they could have been, but they weren't. You were so worried about me, why'd you recommend me to Mr. Cowell? No, fighters have been known to hang up their guns before now and become good people to have around. I just wanted you to know about San Antonio. Is this a warning or not? You could leave town before that information arrives from San Antonio. Is that what you want me to do? If it's going to mean trouble later on, yes. If not, I like to see new people move into town. It means that we're growing. Is that all? That's all. Oh, that's a nice boy you got there. You know, it takes a smart feller to know what's best for a young'un sometimes. Hope you make the right decisions. Good luck to you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. The sheriff doesn't know who I am yet. I'm sure of that. But I can't take any chances on the answer he'll get from San Antonio. Well, where would you go? Can you take a chance anywhere? I don't know. I really don't know. Robbie knows I'm Will Saber. Kids, they... Kids, they can get careless. He's trusted you for some time now. Judy, believe me, I don't want to run anymore. But what if this thing blows up? You and Robbie wouldn't have a friend in this whole country. All I know is you want to start a new life. Well, Durango's as good a place as any to start it. Okay, Judy. We'll stay with it. You do have the nicest handwriting, Mr. Tomlinson. All the ladies think so. Thank you, Miss Henderson. Seems to me that every woman in town has been doing nothing but making deposits the last three weeks since you started working here. I don't believe it's your handwriting they come to see at all. There you are, Miss Henderson. All taken care of. Mm -hmm. A very firm hand, Mr. Tomlinson. Good day. <laughs> Three thousand, put it in my account. Hey, you struck it rich, eh, Mr. Blaisdell? What do you mean, rich? Those steers I sold was worth twice that amount. Cattle buyers are thieves, all of them. I tell you, I'm getting sick of it. Man sweats and slaves to make something for himself, and the cattle buyers take the gravy. Hurry up with that entry, Tomlinson. It'll take a minute. Come on, come on. I ain't got all day. Sorry, sir. You were right. $3,000. Morning, Mr. Blazer. Morning. Well, hello again. Well, hello there, Captain. Good to see you again. Told you I'd look you up. Hey, did you ever catch up with that Sabre gang? Not yet. We had reports of them being down in New Mexico. Then we'd heard they doubled back into Texas again. The Captain here says that description I sent to you fits Will Sabre. Oh? Uh -huh. Thought I'd come in and take a look at you. It can't be. When we were ambushed by the Sabre gang, this is a fellow tried to help us out. Well... I'm glad you decided to stay around our town, Tomlinson. So am I. Thought you were looking for land. Oh, I'll get it. Staying around town? No, moving on. We're turning over every stone looking for safety. I'm glad I was under the wrong stone. <laughs> <laughs> See you. Right. Good luck to you. Thanks.
Right on time, just like I said. How are you going to get to it with all them guards? We're not. We're taking the next shipment. A week from now, when they take the strong box out of Durango. Right in town? Yeah, where they least expect it. Come on, let's get back and work it out with the boys. inside. Going to be an easy one? That depends on Larry here. Why me? Because you're the only one ever since ever been in Durango. That's been some time ago. That express outfit didn't even go that far then. Just the same, you know the town better than any of us. You're going in and get a layout of that express office. What if there are rangers there? What if I'm recognized? But you like rangers, Larry. Remember, you tried to get me to leave them alone. You're taking it out on me, Dunstan. You're trying to get even for something that happened up there. That was a case that had killed you before now. You had your chances. You still got them. Yeah. Only killing you don't mean nothing, Larry. You still think you can outgun Will Sabre? His 30 days are up day after tomorrow. I'll catch up with him. You're leaving for town in the morning. Or have you still got some argument left? No argument. He's sound asleep. By the way he's been working around here, he hardly has enough energy to go to bed at night. You happy? About as happy as I could be with the way things are. Can't get Dunstan off your mind, can you? No. Maybe he'll never show up. He'll show. Sometime. For my sake, I hope you don't meet up with him. And for Robbie's sake, I hope you do. Robbie's? Well, he talks to me a lot when you're not around. Still in the back of his mind that you're Will Saber. You're a gunfighter and an outlaw. It's going to take some doing and not just talking to make him forget it. Yeah, I know. I've known ever since he first heard my name. We've got to make him forget it. You know, Will, when you have a dog around, you grow to love it. You worry if it's lost or gets sick. The kid is the very same way, only a million times more so. What can I do? I can't go looking for Dunstan. Just a matter of waiting till he finds me. Will, you don't want to kill Dunstan, do you? He'd have to force me to. I've no right to kill him. I'm no better than he is. I've no right to judge anybody. I've learned that late, but, but I've learned it. You think you can explain that to Robbie? I, I don't know. Sometime you'll have to. I thought Robbie owed us something for taking him in, but I was wrong. We owe him something. He showed us what human beings are supposed to be like. Someday you'll have to make him understand.
Sheriff. I didn't know you kept those guns that handy. A little extra protection for the bank. Glad to see you got Ben Cowell's interests at heart. You never know. Yeah. Incidentally, that ranger captain told me you didn't do any actual shooting against the Sabre gang. I got there too late. That's what he said. What's on your mind, Sheriff? Gang's definitely in Texas. We just got word. Stage lines and banks are being notified. I'll tell Mr. Cowell. Mm -hmm. You can wear those guns again now if you want. You might get another chance to do some shooting against the Sabre gang. Maybe this time you won't be too late. I'll see you, Dan. Well, there's the layout. The street, the bank, the express office. They're exactly one sharp. They take the money out of the bank and bring it over to the express office. At that time, the streets are crowded, so there'll be a lot of confusion. Won't be so easy for him to spot us. You all know where you're supposed to be? Good. If you have to use your guns, don't miss. We'll pull out of here for town at dawn. Tom's busy. You better take this over to the express office today. Okay. We're late now. of a man are you? The rest of us are willing to risk our lives, but you wouldn't shoot. You mind telling us why? You're scared so much you can't move? If there was time for arguing, I'd let you think up an answer to that, but there isn't. I'm forming a posse. Rule him out. Robbie, I'm sorry you had to stick up for me at school today. That dude Blaisdell, he kept yelling, yelling! You fought the Blaisdell boy? He's bigger and he's older and he won! And I'm not going back to that school! Robbie! Robbie! Judy, I... I just couldn't shoot. I know. 
Will you talk to him? But I've tried to talk to him before. Robbie, come out here. Robbie, we'd better talk. There's nothing to talk about. I don't even know what they all say. Expect me to have a fight and get beat by Bill Blaisdell every day? No, no, I don't. They say you're yellow. But I know why you didn't shoot at those outlaws. It's because you're going back with them, that's what. That's not the reason, Robbie, and you know it. Did you tell the kids anything about me? What do you think I am? Robbie. Robbie, come here. Look, boy, I don't want to use a gun anymore, anytime. That's what I want you to remember. It's the same today as it was that first day we met. That's why I couldn't tell the Rangers then where the men had gone. That's why I couldn't take things into my own hands today. I wish I was old enough now. I'd shoot that Benson myself. Boy, get this into your head. It's not for you to be thinking such things. You learn about school and, and church and making a man of yourself, not about guns and killing. Yes, sir. By the time you grow up, men won't be wearing guns. Everybody will live by the law. You understand that? Can I go now? Yes, you... you can go now. That's a good haul. Not what we should have got. We missed out. The bank receipts weren't at the express office yet. Makes no difference, Dunson. We got to move out of here. That's right. Every man in the area will be looking for us. Well, we won't be sitting there waiting on them. We're going to take another crack at Durango. We're going back in that town? That bank's busting wide open with money. It's not the money, Dunston. It's Will Sabre. That's why you want to go back. You're real smart, Larry. You got a head on your shoulders. Sure, I want Sabre. I want him because he's going to work with us again. <laughs> Whether he wants to or not. Will? What's wrong, Judy? I don't want Robbie to hear this, but I have to tell you, there was a man here today who wanted to see you. He said it was very important. What did he look like? Well, he was rather stocky and, and had red hair and wore a mustache. He said he'd be back. That's the beginning. That's the start of it, Judy. Here you are, Tom. Right to the penny, sir. Good work. See you tomorrow. Good night, sir. Dan. Everything all right? Yeah, everything is fine. Good night.
What are they waiting for? If they're gonna come, why don't they come? On the way over here, I heard a couple of gunshots. Of course, it could have been someone just shooting at a rattlesnake. On the other hand, they could have been shooting at me. Dan, if you want to leave Durango, I won't say any more. You said something about starting my life over, Judy. Well, this is the place where I'm going to start it. They're not going to make me run anymore. Well, that's up to you. You'll have some dinner? I'd like some change for this. Oh, well. How would you like it? Go, so, Eagles. I've got a message for you. From Dunstan. He wants to see you tonight at Red Bluff. That's a point about 10 miles outside of town. You'll have to come to see me. Don't make us get rough, Will. We know where Judy Oliphant's ranch is. Leave her alone. Sure. What time are you going to be there? Be right with you, sir. Here you are. Nine. Thanks. That's a tough one to believe. You seem to believe it all right? Oh, yeah, it fits right in with my ideas. And we've got some good ones about that bank you work in. Well, don't try them. Well, we've got you boxed in. We like the idea of you helping us. You're going to like it, too. Because if we have to do this without you, we'll leave enough evidence around to make it look like you've done it. Only we'll be gone. You'll have to face them all alone, Will. You won't get any help from me, Dunstan. Well, we'll be at that bank at 1 o'clock tomorrow night. And you'd better be there. Didn't you hear anyone or see anything? No, I guess I was sleeping pretty soundly. Then I heard something, and it must have been when they were taking Robbie through the window. Oh, everything happened so fast, Will. That's why Dustin was so sure I'd go in with him. There's only one thing. One clear thing. I'll have to do whatever they want me to. And after tomorrow night, after you help them? I'll give myself up.
home, kid. Here. Be sure and give that to Will. Well, get going. Waste any time, Roy. I don't hear you. You'll see some rocks that look like statues. There's a shark in back of them. under arrest. You're crazy. They kidnapped Robbie. If I hadn't followed their orders, they would have killed him. Go on, Robbie, tell him. Tell him what happened. He doesn't have to tell me anything. The evidence is enough. Evidence? What are you talking about? This. Where did this come from? Read my note that came with it. Go on, read it. Will, you did fine. The kid is bringing back your share. Keep your fingers crossed and we'll do another job like this one pretty soon. Jake and the boys. They're lying, Howard. Look, I'm not going back with you. Don't move, Saber. Look, I'll come back by myself if I can. If I, if I don't make it, well, you'll know what happened. <laughs>
time you got back, Roy. Sign Roy? No. He should be back here by now. If he ain't here in a half an hour, we're pulling out without him. Maybe he ran into trouble. You expect us to go find out? in Durango by now. That's Roy. He's in no hurry. That's Joan. What's he doing on Roy's horse? Take a look. You won't have to look far. <laughs> nice of you boys to come out here in the open where I can see you. You two are going back to Durango with me. Now, now wait a minute, Will. Maybe we can make a deal. Sorry, no deal. But Will, they'll hang us. Take my share of the bank money. Take anything you want, but just let us get out of here. He ain't taking nobody back. Shut up. That's when you got us into this. Why? Now, wait a minute, Will. No. I told you to give it to you first. People in town that have to know the truth. All that bank money, Saber. We can split it right down the middle. No more splitting, Jake. But once in my life, I've got something to look forward to. Come on now, on your feet. I'll be waiting. about it, Robbie. We just wanted Mr. Howard here to surprise you. Boy, what a surprise. You ride into town to get some stuff at the general store, you come back with a ma and a pa. And that's what I'll have to start calling you from now on. <laughs> I gotta go tell Mike and Johnny. Come on, let's go. <laughs> you know, when the governor gave you that pardon, a lot of people in town had to eat crow. But they're all on your side now. They want you to have these guns back, Will. They're grateful to you for getting that money back to the bank. Even Blazedon looks happy. <laughs> you know, 
fellow gets to see a lot of things as sheriff. Some of them are fine. Yes, mighty fine. 